Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're talking about Chapter 1 of Grievers by Adrian Marie Brown. Um, and just a note at the top that uh, this novel as a whole, and this chapter in particular, uh, deals with death, fire, disease, things like that. Uh, so let's open up with a passage. Neighbors would huddle on nearby porches, theorizing with Kama on arson and what the city would do with the plot of land, hoping it wouldn't be another skeleton of char or some flavorless condo. Unclear what they hoped it would be. Kama's energy flowed outward. Dunes flowed inward. A perfect pair. She watched the stars cross the night sky. Tonight, Dunes' fire was no smoke signal. No cry for help or company. No crisis. She hoped her smoke would keep everyone far away. Tonight, her mother wasn't blazing across town. She was the fire. So, in the opening chapter of Grievers by Adrian Marie Brown, we meet Dune, Mama Vivian, Marta, and Kama. In a near-future Detroit, half the city lives on unemployment. Dune, our protagonist, works to make ends meet as she navigates life with her mother, Kama, and her paternal grandmother, Mama Vivian. Dune is still recovering from her breakup with Marta when her mother falls into a coma-like state in the household kitchen. Kama's a passionate activist, her mother, uh, focused on communal organizing, survival, and preparation. She trained Dune when she was young to locate fires and was outspoken, it was the outspoken and strong member of the community. Sometimes to Dune's frustration, we get early hints of that, um, or light hints. When Kama first falls into the coma-like state, Dune suspects a heart attack or stroke and takes her to the hospital. However, a doctor explains that Kama's condition is psychosomatic and closer to a paralyzing state of depression. Dune and Mama Vivian take Kama home, knowing that the medical care will be costly and inefficient. Two weeks later, the hospital calls back to ask Dune to that Dune bring the paralyzed Kama back in, and it turns out that her condition was the first of a disease they're dubbing H8. Dune misses this call as she has made the decision to set Kama, now dead, on a pyre. The first chapter opens and closes with Dune cremating her mother in the yard. Um, so the first thing to note with this chapter and the novel as a whole are the explicit connections to Octavia Butler's works, right? Um, opening with fire, really is reminiscent of kind of the common use of fire as a symbol in Parable of the Sower, right? Um, whether that's because of uh, increasing temperatures and increasing fire danger, whether it's due to lack of a social safety net to put out said fires, um, or whether it's fire as a symbolism for change, right? A symbol for catalyst. Um, both Parable of the Sower and this use fire in, in different ways, but fire is an important um, symbol. Additionally, there's this emphasis on communal organizing that's clear in both Parable of the Sower and Octavia Butler's wider works, um, and this book as well. Additionally, we have the disease. Um, H8 is really reminiscent um, in some ways of the disease from the evening and the morning and the night. Um, both authors are very concerned with disease and kind of um, you know, making sure or, or looking at how society responds to these diseases, not in like a zombie plague type way, but how they res uh, respond in um, care for one another. Um, uh, both of them, you know, are really kind of thinking back to the AIDS epidemic and other um, diseases like that. Um, and we also have that connection, as I mentioned, with the uh, change where death is transition, right? The prologue of this book really talks about um death as a transition and obviously that's really reminiscent of uh the um change uh kind of focus in parable of the sower which leads into our kind of big question for this chapter um one of the big questions of this chapter is how does dune perceive her mother and her mother's activism at the start of the novel and what has led her to have this perception as always cite the text and any other sources to support your answer um, thanks for watching. I'm going to be making a couple more videos on this book. If you like it, um, I might go through the whole book, um, but there's 19 some chapters, um, but I'm going to try to do a video for every chapter as long as there's interest in it. All right. Thanks for watching.